Yo guys, it's Chris here, Ben in the video, and today I'm giving you guys my honest opinion on the Supra, and I'm not this kind of channel where I just, like, make honest opinions on cars, but the Supra is kind of a big deal uh, in the car world, so uh, we will be discussing that today. Um, so I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. I'm going to start off with the looks on this car. Um, it's very, like, futuristic, kind of, like... It's not, um, it looks kind of like what a 2019 car could look like. It has slick curves and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, I think the car looks cool. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna, like, reflect on that later because I have a point, uh, to, to say. But the car, I mean, it looks good. It's stylish, sleek. Um, looks like it has good fitment. The rims are kind of weird. Uh, but overall, the car, it looks nice. Uh, that's that's my honest opinion. It looks like a nice car. Um, my next point here is that it's a track car. Um, I don't think this is going to be a normal, like, it's obviously going to be a production car, but I see it more as a track car because most people aren't going to go around with this uh, track-looking Supra and just drive it around. Uh, so it's not the greatest production car to just drive around, but it looks like it's going to be a really cool track car. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, next here, I don't think this continues the Supra. Because you look at the Mach 1, Mach 2, Mach 3, Mach 4, they all have uh, similarities. But really, when I look at the Mach 5 Supra, if I, didn't, if I only knew what the Mach 4 Supra was and I didn't know that they're making a new car... Uh, and you said, oh, what's this? I'd be like, uh, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't say it would be a Mach 5 Supra. So that's the problem I'm having here. It's it's a good car, but it's just not a Supra. And I'm taking this a quote from one of my friends at school named Sean. He said, if it wasn't a Supra, I'd be fine with it. But it's a Supra, so it's it's not. I'm not okay with it. Like, it doesn't continue the path, kind of like what I'm saying here. Uh like he'd be fine. And same with me. Like I'd be fine if it's just another production car. But it shouldn't. This shouldn't be the Supra. It's, it's not a Supra. I mean, it. That's my opinion on that. Uh, next, if I had the chance to buy it, would I? Answer, no. I, I wouldn't buy this. Uh, for the other facts I've said before, like it. It won't. I don't think it's gonna have as much culture as the other cars do. It's uh. It's probably gonna be really expensive. And it's kind of, it's not my style the way it is. I'd rather just uh, go for the Mach 4 Supra. Uh, and the final thing here is the specs. It has 400 horsepower, uh, so that's great. It has turbos, so uh, probably some 1,000 horsepower builds are going to be made here. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, I can't wait till it actually comes out. I'd like to see how many YouTubers actually uh, buy a Supra. Uh, but that's 2019 to come for us, so... That's the end of this video, guys. Um, if there are any more, like, extreme cars that come out like this, I will do an honest review on it. But this is kind of just, like, a new thing I did and probably won't ever happen again. So, yeah. That's the end of this video. See you guys next time, man. Peace.